Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the second part of the build. As you see, we put the frame together. I'm going to pull off the tape on the rest of it. I also went ahead and I took some wooden dowels and I cut it and I put it in a corner just to reinforce this. It's not something that they tell you to do. It's just something that I felt like doing just for making it have a little bit more um, durability in that seam. All right, now the next step is you really need to paint this if you haven't done that already. Because if you don't paint your dollhouse at this point, you're gonna have to paint it around the shutters. And that's gonna be hard. Okay, so for the painting process, I like to use the Bare Ultra. It's the Paint and Primer All-in-One and um, it's stain blocking. So it goes on a little bit easier and you don't have to use as much um, primer or you don't have to use any primer or anything like that when you're painting your dollhouse. Also, I like to buy the color samples um, for the smaller things. It does take a little bit more paint, but you know, for what, I think I paid like three or four dollars for this, it's worth it. Because when you buy the craft paint in the store, it just doesn't do as good of a job. Use a lot less and it lasts a long time so you can use it for other projects too. All right, you can use a paintbrush or you can use something like this, but make sure when you're doing it, you go over it very, very thin coats. Let it dry, lightly sand it if you need to, and go over it again. Okay, so now I got the paint in there and I decided to go with like a sage. It's kind of like a, a light green. And then I'm just going to kind of go over it very lightly. And then go back with the brush it. As you can see, I'm putting it on almost dry. It's not really leaving any globbiness or anything like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish painting this with this part and we'll be right back. Okay, so once it's on there, then you just kind of go over it again with the brush like Dad's doing. And then you ain't got enough paint on there. And you can always add more if you need it, where you need it. No. Okay. I wish I went thin. Yeah, you got to put it on it because it soaks in. Yeah, the first coat will definitely soak in. I don't like to do a lot just because I don't want it to warp and I don't want run marks. It ain't gonna warp. It could. It's not wood. And yeah. Buckles. Here, hit this right here where it's still wet. Sleeve. Oh, you gotta run over here, Dad. You gotta watch it. It's 
there any in this window? Because you're, Dad, when you're doing that, you're dropping a whole bunch. Look, look in that window. You're pulling it off the brush. It ain't gonna show. Well, no, I don't care. I don't want it globby. I have a, I have a window frame in there. Okay, so when painting it, I have some blocks of wood that I stuck underneath it here. So I have this gap that's about, an, I don't know, maybe an inch, so that when I take my roller across it, I'm not actually going to be hitting the table. Can I see your brush? Huh? Can I see your brush a second? Thank you. And then afterwards, I just take the brush for the first coat, and I just go right over where I just did that. They tell you to paint this before you put it together. But I find it easier to do it this way. Okay, so that's what the first coat looks like. Let me give you a close-up look of it. It's still absorbing in, so you will definitely need another coat. But you can kind of see... How it is? I don't it's think probably. We need it. We can leave it like it is. No, you can still see a little bit coming through. So I think one more thin coat and it'd be okay. But um, you know, it's not so much that if you're going to do a whole lot with it, that you can even see that it's going to need another coat. So it's up to you if you really want to do another coat.